So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It's getting close to fall, but it sure doesn't feel like it right now. It's about 90 degrees today. Pretty warm day to be splitting firewood, but we're gonna take care of this little pile here behind me tonight. Now about, I think it was about a month and a half ago, I published a video, I was helping a friend of mine. He's only a couple years older than me, but I titled the video, Helping the Elderly with Their Firewood. It's kind of a joke. But anyway, the uh, video really wasn't about the log splitter, although I took the Wolf Ridge down to his place. It's about an hour and a half, two hours away, and we knocked out a bunch of elm. And I was reading through the comments, and there's like a whole bunch of people saying you didn't even show the log splitter. And I'm thinking to myself, I've shown this splitter in numerous videos and went over it, and then it dawned on me, you know, we're getting new people every day, and a lot of people don't watch all the videos, so I figured it's getting to be that time of year. So I'm gonna go over this Wolf Ridge. It's a fantastic machine. I'm gonna show you how I run it, and how fast it is, and how much you can get done with it in a hurry. So everybody knows that uh, Wisconsin is famous for cheese, beer, bratwurst, and I'm just gonna say it, log splitters, because that's where this Wolf Ridge Pro 22C is made. This is a 22 ton log splitter. Now this is nothing even remotely like a 22 ton log splitter that you would buy, you know, at a big box store. Uh, this is a production machine. This has a six second cycle time, give or take. I think it's right around six seconds. I've got the uh, four way wedge on right now. I do have a six way wedge as well, but to be honest, I don't use the six way that much. Uh, it's gotta be, just the right size for me you know something like that one there would be for the six-way wedge or maybe those couple down there what i like to do with the little bit bigger pieces i'll keep the wedge right about where it is push it push it through flip these two quarters over and split them again with the four-way it's just kind of the way i like it i split my wood relatively small that's how our customers like it uh, but this has the log lift on it I think you saw when I was setting it up, put this on the back here, lower your jack stand in the front, makes it nice and stable. Now normally what I would do here, I'd have this set up with the big firewood bucket right in front of it, but I just got a little bit of wood here to split, so I left it hooked up to the ranger. What I'll do, I will split, you know, I'll stand on this side. Once they're split, I'll just toss it right here into the firewood bucket. Now you can split from the other side as well. I'll show you that here in just a bit. What you do, you put the log lift all the way down and you can stand on it. And uh, But even when I'm splitting by myself, without this great helper right here, right. when I'm splitting by myself, I like to just raise that log lift up and load it up with rounds and then come back over the other side, just kind of a personal preference. Uh, but yeah, you can split from both sides of this machine. These are the controls. This puts your wedge up and down right here. This is your log lift right here. And this runs the splitter. This runs the ram forward. I just took a picture of Melissa standing there for the thumbnail. I said, do like the whole uh, Price is Right thing, you know, showcase Wolf Ridge splitter. But I'll put a link in the description because they make several different models of these splitters. Yeah. Uh, this is actually one of the smaller ones. And these aren't for everyone. You know, if you're only doing four or five cords a year, you're probably not going to spend the money on something like this unless you want to do it all in one afternoon. Then you would do it. But I've always said since, since we got this, you know, if you sell firewood or if you have a family, a bunch of you burn wood, go in on this thing. And you hate lending stuff to people or renting it out, but they're like bulletproof. I don't even know how you could hurt the thing unless you really did something dumb. But, you know, a couple family members go in on it. You can get together on a weekend and knock out all your firewood for the year. No problem at all. Yeah. So, uh, Melissa has uh, helped quite a bit with this, and you've run it both. Yeah. It's relaxing, isn't it? It's easy. It takes splitting out of the equation. It's just, uh, it's getting the rounds to it yeah. because it goes through them so fast. It does. It does. No joke, the time goes fast. We can seriously be together and split a huge amount of rounds. And I'm like, whew, that has, it's gotta be dinner time, or gee, the sun ought to be setting. And you look at your watch and you're like, nope. It was like was 15 minutes of splitting 10, or 15 so. minutes. But that also reminds me of a funny story. I don't know if Mike will remember. When we were dating, we went up to Moraine, which is a local uh, state park. We rented a paddle boat. 
and they're like, okay, it's so much for an hour, blah, blah, blah. We're like, all right, we get in, we paddle away. <laughs> We're both winded. We're it's like, a huge lake. Well, it's probably, and you had it for one hour. We're like, that had to have been a half hour. We look back, we're like, yeah. And I probably told this story before, but we're like, whew, we better hide down back. <laughs> we're pedaling our little hearts away. We get in, pull it in. We're like, okay, we're back. The guy's like, all right, that's been 20 minutes. And we're like, <laughs> we felt like we were gone for hours. <sighs> Workout. So full disclosure, the way I got this splitter, this is how this all went down. I met Chris Wolf, the owner of Wolf Ridge Manufacturing, uh, at the Paul Bunyan show one year. And one of his guys watched our channel and then showed it to Chris. And it was probably, what, a few months after that show, Chris contacted me and wanted to know if I would try out one of their log splitters on the channel. And I saw the machines at the show. I knew they were a great splitter. And he said, hey, they're a small company. You know, he's not going to give me the log splitter or anything like that. Uh, but could I just try one out and get them some exposure? I said, absolutely. I loved his story. I mean, they've only been in business right. not that long. Seven, eight years maybe, if that. Started building these things in his garage. With tinkering. You know, he's yeah, tinkering. tinkering around. I and love the tinkering. Now he has a big new facility, employs a bunch of people, made in USA, all that. Great story. Awesome. And so uh, he drove this splitter from Wisconsin here to Western Pennsylvania and we tried it out and just fell in love with it and we did several videos on it right off the bat and immediately people started reaching out to Chris like one guy he told me was 45 minutes from their place didn't even know that they existed and he bought one put a deposit on it the first day he saw it on our channel that uh, so that's how it all happened and then things worked out really well for Chris it worked out well for us he ended up giving us the log splitter and we've been using it for a couple years and it still looks like brand new too. Yeah. It stays outside about half the time and in the garage the other half of the time. You know, if I know I'm splitting one evening, you're gonna be splitting wood later that week, it may sit down by the wood pile and then I'll put it away for a while. But the powder coat finish on it is absolutely amazing. Let me show you something. So the only place this thing's showing anywhere at all is right here on the beam. The only place the powder coat's wearing off of it, which is expected, even on the four-way wedge. But you don't have any idea how much wood it slid across this table right here, and uh, it still looks great. It's absolutely amazing. It is. You can't get a nail polish like that. Can't get a nail polish like that. Yeah, chip, and I mean, I don't get my nails painted, but the girls are always complaining. Yeah. I'm sure this is like fire engine red or ruby, ruby red. Well, they make them in all different colors, so whatever you want. But check out that website in the description. And uh, like I said, this is one of the smaller ones. Uh, but it definitely does everything we want. But I think what we're going to do now, we're going to fire it up and uh, we'll run a few rounds through it real quick here, show you how it works. I'll split from both sides. Melissa, maybe you can run the controls a little bit and sure. we'll knock some of this out real quick. Although I prefer to load. You prefer to load? I do. All right. I just move faster than you. No, you and don't. You're better with the controls. I'm kind of like, wait, what? because there's labels, I'd probably memorize this if there weren't labels there for real because I'd be forced to. But since there's labels, then I'm like, oh wait, oh, that's the wedge, okay. And then you're over there going, okay, you'll fall in love with it, let's get going. Yeah, and I mentioned this stand here in the back. You can also put the tongue from the other end on this end and pull it from this direction as well if you want to. I have a conveyor for this as well, but uh, for this little bit of wood right here, I'm not gonna get all set up. I'll just do it the way I have it here now.
we got the uh, firewood bucket filled up here. I'll go down and dump that. We don't have a whole bunch left. But by the way, all this wood right here, if you didn't see the last video, I'll put it up above. I cut all this on one battery on that uh, steel MS220C battery powered chainsaw. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cut all this wood on one battery. We did a little video testing that out. But as far as the uh, Wolf Ridge goes, it's fantastic. It is. And like I said, there's a link in the description. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Yeah. And uh, I'll get Chris from Wolf Ridge to chime in. He can answer them. I know there's a bit of a lead time on these. They're selling a lot of them. But uh, they're making them out there in Wisconsin. And they make a heck of a product. They really do. All right. So we ran out of room in the firewood bucket. But I have all these rounds on the splitter. So that's where I'd say the splitter's full. Made me think of a movie. Cousin Eddie. Do you know what I'm saying? Splitter's full. And he goes like he's in his bathrobe. Well, I hope that, uh, I think that's about it. I'm gonna go dump this and then I'll come back and split the rest of this up. But I think we'll wrap this video up. Okay. Uh, like I said, a lot of people had asked because they hadn't seen this before and I didn't explain it much in the last video. But I'm sure I missed a few things. Like I said, drop a comment down below if you have any questions. And I think that's about it. Melissa, you wanna wrap this video up? Yeah, like I always say, go to Morgan's Off The Leash. That's no. my channel. Check out the videos I have up. I have 25 actually with my new trailer, 26. So I've been busy, but here at Outdoors with the Morgan, click the thumbs up for a like, comment down below like Mike said, and share these with your friends and make sure you're subscribed. We'll see you on the next one, thanks.